Welcome back, guys. I trust you're fine. So, we all know about the E-Levy. You can't be living in Ghana and tell me that you haven't heard at least of the E-Levy. And I'm sure, aside hearing about it, you know more about it now. And over the, the past few weeks since it was introduced, we have all witnessed the back and forth of Ghanaians on this issue. With the country being divided, some being for it and others also seemingly being against it and people have come out you know various figures have come out to speak against it some have come to support it people have played or leaned into it politically and people have also leaned out of it politically so to speak now then comes the celebrity space I know for a fact that somebody like Shatawali, who does not mince words, you can check his history. He has also come out to vehemently protest against it and debunk the need for it. So, our own Obede Pombede, Kinsak, was asked by someone on Twitter. I think, I don't think the person had any malicious intent unless I'm proven wrong. So, this person asked him, I'll read that okay please i want to know what you think about the e-levy you have been quiet on it your parties are speaking their minds so well i think this is a harmless question but depending on how you approach it you could get into a trouble or trap so sakodia responded by saying i pay a lot of taxes outside and i don't complain because i'm using avenues they made available to make money it is only right yeah and i agree it's not same here and that's why we complain not because the e-levy is bad when you broke a harmless good morning can sound like a tease this is a deep statement and it calls for analysis on higher level which i'm sure most people who are on twitter or if not or most at least on twitter can really appreciate i know they understand it but then there is this thing called agenda where people but sometimes maliciously deliberately decide to interpret things the wrong way just to push <laughs> an agenda and trigger emotions so based on sarkodias reply some people got angry and i think it was being fooled by agenda they were being misled <clears throat> to interpret it differently sorry so people were like, oh, he hasn't said anything. He's trying to be political about it. His his response to the question is not saying it's bad. Neither is he trying to say it's good. He should come out clearly. He's leaning towards the government. He's afraid to talk about the government because he's in bed with them. You know, various views passing left and right, all aimed at making him look bad. And some also siding with him or let me say a few siding with him but this is what my two cents are about what Sarkodie said i think it's spot on what Sarkodie said is no different from what most of us have been saying or what most people out here have been saying that they don't see where the taxes we even pay are going so they don't see why it's going to be anything different with the e-levy and that the e-levy is going to compound on the hardship of Ghanaians and all. Sarkodie is basically saying, I'm doing a breakdown of his streets, so to speak. He's basically saying, yes, he pays taxes outside and he does not complain because he made the money on which he's paying the tax through avenues that were made available to him. Yeah, and that it's not the same here in Ghana because, and that's why he thinks people are complaining but not that the e-levy is bad so he's trying to say there are there are not much avenues here for people to make money and that's how come they are complaining about the e-levy not that the e-levy standing alone is a bad thing but the system in which the e-levy is being introduced is rather the bad thing and i think he's spot on i don't think he's being political i don't think he has to go extreme to show what his view on the issue or what his stance on the issue is i think he has made his point clearly but he did it with decorum and people maybe are trying to either just push an agenda or trying to compare it with how shatawali put his points across but 
Satawale is unique and Sakodia is unique. We can't have them all communicating the same way, but we can have their different forms of communication still alluding to the same fact. And that's what's happening here. So let's cut Sakodia some slack. I think people just like picking on him. Maybe because he doesn't really retaliate that much. And you know, he's a cool brand. If if he responds to you picking on him, it sort of adds value to you, sort of. People may not like what I just said, but that's the fact. Yeah. So that that is it. And people are dragging him on Twitter for some time now, but I think it's it's just an agenda. And I know he knows what they are doing, so he wouldn't really be perturbed by it. So that's it from me. I'm out. Peace.